everyone. This is going to be the reading for Capricorn for the month of April 2022. So this can apply if you're a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate with you. Also, do keep in mind that this is a generalized reading. So, you know, not all the messages may resonate with you. Uh, so take what resonates and leave out the rest. So I'm going to pull out a couple of cards for you. Meantime, I also wanted to mention that I'm taking bookings for personal readings. So if you want to book a reading for a natal chart analysis, like a birth chart analysis, a synastry chart reading, uh, a relationship compatibility reading, or if you'd like to get a tarot card reading, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. And both the links are in the description box below. So you can contact me and, you know, I'll get back to you soon. Let's pull out one or two more cards and then I'll get started with you. Okay. One more card and then we'll start. Great. So Capricorn, the first card that I'm getting for you is the King of Pentacles. The second one is the Hermit. The third one is the Ace of Swords. The next one is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the last one is the Six of Pentacles. So a lot of Pentacles for you, Capricorn. So in the month of April, I feel like money and finances is a big focus area for you. I feel like a lot of you may be stacking up your finances, stacking up your money. If you already have a regular corporate job, like a nine to five, a lot of you may be thinking of doing a side business or something on the side that's going to add to your revenue, add to your income. So a lot of you are focusing on your money and finances. If that's not the case, a lot of you may be looking at saving up money, you know, looking at ways to save money. But at the same time, you're also doing, um, you know, acts of generosity. You're also giving to people who need it because the six of pentacles also came up. But I would caution you, Capricorn, you are one of those signs that tends to sometimes overgive where to the point that you may feel depleted sometimes. So it's important not to overgive of yourself, whether that be time, money, resources, uh, you know, anything, emotions. Uh, it's important to keep a balance within yourself because the danger is with the Six of Pentacles is sometimes you may end up um, feeling a sense of responsibility towards someone or something. And then you end up giving more of yourself than you're receiving. And that can really deplete your energy. So that's one of the things that I'm picking up here. So be a little bit cautious about that in the month of April. Uh, I'm also reading the King of Pentacles. This is uh, Taurus energy. Uh, but this could be your own energy as well. Very grounded, very centered, very focused. Again, very focused on the money. You know, you are about the money this month. Uh, you are not letting anything distract you, especially if you look at this card, the King of Pentacles. I'm using the Druid Tarot deck today. It's more intuitive for me. Um, so if you look at this card, uh, the king, he's sitting on his throne and there's a lot of chaos happening behind him. There's a fire, kind of like a wildfire, and there's also a storm happening. Uh, but he is very poised and very calm and uh, he's not budging basically. He's very grounded in his energy. And I feel like that's your energy Capricorn in the month of uh, April. A lot of you may be facing a lot of chaotic situations around you. There may be people, situations, uh, things, places that are trying to derail you or just trying to get you off track, uh, whether that be emotionally, mentally, financially, whatever it is. There are some people around you who are trying to derail you or just distract you in general. But I do sense a lot of chaotic energy around you, but you are not letting that phase you. I feel like a lot of you are remaining grounded in your energy. You're very poised, you're very calm, and you just know that what you want is getting naturally attracted to you. Uh, it's very Taurus energy as well, because King of, King of Pentacles is about, you know, it, it is Taurus energy. Um, so a lot of you uh, may be... Um, Feeling this need to maybe decorate the home or just surround yourself with more luxury because Taurus rules the senses and it's very much about luxury and luxe items, things that nourish your senses. So it doesn't have to be necessarily, you know, um, upholstery or drapes or furnishings of, of that nature. It could just be the, the, the clothing that you wear, the fabric you wear or, you know, the, the food that you consume, you know. Is it high quality? So I feel like a lot of you are paying more attention to those things in the month of April. Uh, I'm also seeing the Hermit um, uh, in this reading. The Hermit is the card of Virgo. 
but i feel like this is your energy capricorn i feel like in the month of april a lot of you are uh, being quite reticent you're quite introspective you're going in inward you're going within yourself to do a lot of self reflection there's a lot of wisdom that you have acquired over the years now capricorn you are ruled by saturn so you are a very responsible sign you are the kind of person that is wise beyond your years you know even from a young age you may have felt like an adult um so you are one of those people and uh, you know salt of the earth kinds and i feel like in the in the month of april a lot of you are doing a lot of soul searching in order to figure out where you want to go next what do you want to do with your life um you're using a lot of your intuition to do that and um there are some choices that need to be made but you are not about to make any hasty decisions right now i feel like you just uh in this energy of contemplation and self reflection and then once you arrive at a decision it's going to be very swift and bold uh i am seeing the ace of swords now the ace of swords is this energy of conquest it's about uh, overcoming some kind of very difficult phase or a lot of hardship in life and being victorious at the end of it you know it's sort of coming out on top of it you know so a lot of you may have gone through something that was particularly difficult for you it may have been a challenging phase in your life it could have been something that really took a toll on your mental health or it could have been something that was just very challenging at work or in a romantic relationship but i feel like there was a lot of energy around you that was trying to take away from who you are as a person um and i feel like right now you're at this phase where you've pretty much seen it all you've conquered it and now you've kind of reached the other side you you know you know you you've conquered it you've mastered the lesson and now you've moved on to the next chapter um which is very powerful because i feel like once you've done that then nothing can really phase you like we saw with the king of pentacles nothing is phasing this person even though there's so much chaos around them um the next card i'm getting is the five of pentacles but it's turned up as a reversal um so i do feel like a lot of you there may be some kind of deceit a chance of deceit around you so be a little bit careful with your finances so even though you are very focused on the money right now in the month of april there may be people who might be trying to swindle you or there may be somebody who has some um you know ulterior motives or some underhand dealings who who you know of in your vicinity but you may not be wanting to look at it or you don't want to see the person for who they are you want to focus on their positive nature or you know uh you want to see their good side basically but i do feel like it's important to be cautious because there is somebody around you who may try to you know spindle you of your money or there is some kind of um devious person around you who i don't want to scare you but there is somebody a little bit devious who is out to get you in terms of the money and finances so just be a little bit cautious about that and uh, if you have any suspicions on anybody then i wouldn't turn a blind eye to that i would actually um pay more attention to it because usually if your intuition is telling you something that's usually true um the next card that i'm getting is the 6 of pentacles so like i said before at uh, this month uh it's about balance i feel like a lot of you may have given a lot of yourself in the past whether that's uh, to a romantic relationship whether that's to a job you know any any kind of situation but in the month of april the universe is asking you to slow down a little bit and focus on you a little bit more you know um because you tend to give so much of yourself capricorn you are very caring You're very responsible, and you like to take care of other people. So sometimes it can take a toll on your own health. So it's important to balance things out and give yourself that time as well, and not overshare or overgive of yourself to other people. Um, so yeah, it's good to be generous. It's good to be nice, and it's good to help other people out, but not at your own expense. You know. So those are the overall messages I'm getting for you, Capricorn. and uh, if you like this reading do give it a thumbs up and if you resonated do drop in a comment i love reading your comments and interacting with you and if you'd like to book a reading with me definitely drop me a message on facebook or email and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye bye